This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that last card to complete your online deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town like Crown Zenith, for example. They literally have everything and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your order. This video is also sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day and you can use the referral name ZAPDOSTCG to help support the channel. This video is also sponsored by yourplaymat.com. This is a platform where you're able to upload your favorite wallpaper and they turn it into a beautiful playmat. You can now have 10% off your order by clicking the link down below and they ship worldwide, so definitely check it out. Last but certainly not least is going to be dragonshield.com. Dragon Shield is the best brand to protect your beautiful cards and they have the best quality sleeves available and uh, you can of course yeah, check it out by clicking the links down below. They have sleeves, binders and deck boxes of the best quality around. I use them in every single tournament and you guys should do the exact same thing. Thank you a lot for sticking around with the commercials and enjoy the video. Peace! So we do with Zadlus TCG here with wonderful news for everybody out there that is trying to get their Worlds invite. Uh, they have actually lowered the CP requirement for the World Championships over in Yokohama. It's going to be fantastic because I'm very close to getting my Worlds invite myself. So uh, I want to give you all the news and all the information there is and also a little bit of uh, statistics on how much CP you would need to get a day two invitation. So we're going to be calculating that a little bit here and there as well in this video. So hopefully you guys are excited for this uh, news uh, to be shared with uh, yeah, the people all across the globe because yeah as we all know locals are still not announced so that is a little bit of uh, a bad thing because I really appreciate the local community league ups league challenges so for the casual players out there that want to have that spark of competitive play for the very first time or just to have it like uh, not being like a full-time profession where you just fly across the world well that's uh, not possible right now the only way to get worlds invite is through the means of regionals and internationals and the cool thing is I actually made a video this week uh, saying that they should lower the CP requirement and boom Boom, after a couple of days they actually uh, announced it already so uh, that's very nice that they are listening to the community because getting the world invite was almost impossible even though it, uh, yeah a lot of top players will already have their invites regardless but uh, yeah just for uh, the uh, casual players out there there's still a chance to get your world invite so here is the statement here the Pokemon World Championships are the pinnacle of the competitive Pokemon play typically occurring in August of each year so uh, yeah, they actually haven't announced the dates yet, but if you want to have an estimate of when the World Championships will be taking place, it's probably going to be around that, uh, let's see here, having the date across, check it out, okay, I think in August, there's two uh, weekends that it can acquire, uh, actually uh, can happen, we have of course the uh, 10th to the 13th of August, or the 17th to the 20th of August. If I had to take a guess, it's probably going to be that uh, later half, so the second one, but it could still be the first uh, weekend that I uh, announced here as well. So these are going to be the ways uh, they're going to be uh, taking place in Yokohama. So if you want to take a holiday on in combination with that, I suggest uh, having those overlaps in your stay uh, in Yokohama. So. Uh, the Pokemon World Championships uh, feature the best Pokemon players from across the globe. Players will compete for over half a million dollars in prizes, the title of Pokemon World Champion and return invitations for the following year's Worlds. Pokemon TCG and Video Game Championships uh, players uh, qualify for the Worlds uh, by earning championship points at events throughout the championship series seasons. At right now, the way you can get uh, championship points is by playing regional championships as well as internationals. These are the only two where you can collect CP at the moment. I wish they will also implement League Cups and League Challenges. Maybe they will implement those when Scarlet and Violet drops, but nothing has been stated on that uh, matter regardless. Uh, the number of championship points required to receive an invitation is based both on geographical rating zone and age division. The very best players will automatically advance to day two, which we're going to be talking about as well in this video, and some will receive an uh, award for travel to attend the event. So if you're in the top four of your region, you're going to get a travel award, which is super nice. 
uh, the top performing Pokemon Go players at their uh, qualifier events will also earn invitations automatically. Qualification requirements for the Pokemon Unite World Championships will be announced later, so no more Pokken. Instead, Unite joins the party, so we have Pokemon Go, TCG, VGC, and Unite uh, forming the front and face of the World Championships of Pokemon. Worlds will return to be in a, a three-day event. In the past, I think it was a, a four-day event uh, because it was grouped together because of the uh, COVID break. Uh, players who qualify for the first day will begin playing on Friday. Okay, interesting. Uh, the 2023 20, uh, World Championships will be taking place in Yokohama. We already knew that, but we still don't know the exact date, even though I have some speculation dates that I already announced here in this video. So, now the big part, right? The 2023 uh, CP bar thresholds is lowered down. So, from the people from the US and Canada, it actually has been lowered down significantly uh, from 500 to 350 so that is more manageable seeing as uh, yeah people from North America have 14 regionals to be getting that amount as well as an in internationals and even if they want they can also go to the internationals in another uh, region so that's also possible because as we all know internationals uh, give out the most CP ever even if you get like top 128 or something you get 100 CP which is a lot then for Europe, they lowered it down from 350 to 250, and uh, which is super great because at this moment, I'm actually at 230 championship points myself, so that means I need to uh, collect 20 CP during the course of the rest of the season, and we're just halfway through the season right now, so that's going to be uh, definitely a thing, so I'm going to be going to Yokohama regardless, so that's going to be fantastic meeting all of you people out there that are able to make the trip as well. Uh, from Latin America, I don't know if they changed anything here uh, because I'm not too familiar with that specific region, but 200 is like across the board. 200 senior, junior, master. They only had one internationals and one regional so far, so that's still going to be pretty hard in my opinion. Let's say you get like top 128, but they will actually want to uh, invite the best players out there, so it kind of makes sense, but they don't have a lot of opportunities, so that's something uh, to be said here. Same goes for Oceania. Only like... 200 like that's also junior senior masters uh, with uh, US and Europe they get more love and the, the seniors and juniors need less but uh, this is actually reachable uh, for people that are trying to get their worlds invite I want to uh, participate in every specific regional and the region that is definitely a capability because right now for this definitely a possible just let's say you get 100 points from an international top 128 is not the hardest thing to achieve and they only want to invite the best players so it makes sense so that means you just have to get like uh, five uh, I would say top 64s or something uh, during the course of 14 regionals definitely plausible for sure and even if you get like higher in the internationals you might even get a uh, top 40 uh, yeah 64 or whatever to get even more championship points but it does require you to uh, participate in internationals because they hand out the most points uh, and then there's uh, people from the Middle East and South Africa. I think the only person I know is Raz, <laughs> which, uh, yeah, you only need 200 CP here, but it's very hard because I don't know if there are any other regions. They always have to fly over to, uh, to get, of course, uh, regionals and internationals. Then day two invitation actually just say championship point requirements subject to change. So they could still change it depending on how many people they actually want to uh, have in uh, Yokohama at, for the world championships in the TCG division. Day two invitations for the Pokemon TCG competition are divided by rating zone as followed. Top 16 players from North America. Uh, there is a uh, top 22 players from, uh, the, from Europe. Top 12 players from Latin America. Top four players from Oceania and top two players from the Middle East and South Africa get of course day two invitations so that means you can be playing on saturday you don't have to play on friday i suppose here so players in yokohama south korea south korea uh asia pacific will be awarded both friday invitations and day two invitations de determined by their own organized play system so that's different i think um eaton actually um asian uh, was able to of course let everybody know how the uh, japanese system works uh, players in Russia rating zone are not eligible for day two invitations. Uh, players in South Africa are not uh, eligible for travel awards. And players with invitation earned in the 2022 World Championship will play on Friday unless they qualify for day two the based. Okay. Okay, they still need to play. So, uh, yeah, let's say. Yeah, they got an invitation regardless. So if you get like, I think top four gets an invita uh, invitation to the next Worlds ev eventually. So uh, they will need to play in tournaments. Uh, otherwise, they just uh, end up in day one. So that's what it is. 
Then for video games, I don't know if they lowered anything here because this channel is all about the TCG. But uh, as you can see here, League Challenges, League Cups right now are not a thing. So uh, head over to Regionals and Internationals and try to get that threshold. So I'm actually going to be taking a look here. I'm currently, uh, yeah, I'm from Europe. So the top 16 players from Europe will get a day two. Let's take a look at the 20... 22 season even though that actually was uh, divided by 2019 to all the way to 2022 because of the COVID break We can have a little bit on estimate of how many CP you, you would need Technically that could be changing uh, here and there It's just a speculation but to get into the top 16 of Europe as you can see here the top 22 world championships Tord Radcliffe uh, got like 2000 CP that's almost unheard of so the top 16 here that would mean 900 and 95 CP, but that actually indicates that and during the first half of the season there were still Championship points that could be earned by League Cups and League Challenges. So we need to think logically about this Let's say uh, that they are lowered by, down by 200 points because of uh, League Challenge and League Cups being a thing during the first half of the 2022 uh, World's Invitation structure that means like uh, almost like 700, 790 points you would need to get like the top 16, I would say. That could also be way more depending on how good all these players uh, yeah, perform throughout the season. But having 790 points to get into the top 6 to get a day 2 invitation, that's uh, a tough cookie for sure. Uh, if we take a look at how it is right now for Europe, the 2023, they are 720. It makes kind of sense right now because we are stranded here, top 16 right now at 310. That's half of the season. Let's say we double it up, right? But we are still having the internationals for Europe. So take that into consideration. So I think we will get that to a 790 number, something ar around that to get into the top 16. That's going to be quite the hassle. So you don't have to do all the regionals if you just get your day one invite and you see that it's almost impossible because internationals have already happened. Just uh, practice at home and prepare yourself for the day one worlds because already having a day one invitation is a huge deal because it's such a fat feast. It's the best day of the year for Pokemon uh, players alike. With that being said, we're going to be taking a look at uh, North America. Let's see here. Championship points. Oof. Uh, 1,959, okay, cool, let's say here, top 16, with Ruhul already here, uh, 1,249, that is a whole heap of championship points, let's lower that down by 300 points or something, 900 would be the bar for top 16, oh, it's actually top 8, wow, top 8 to get a day 2 invitation, wow, that's not a lot, so top 8 is all the way over here, 1,654, let's uh, slap 300 CP of that because of uh, the situation thing and we get 1,300. 1,300 CP to get in top 8 of US. Oh, that's going to be so hard to get a day 2 inv <laughs> a world invite. Let's see here for Worlds 2022. Uh, let's go right now, 2023. 1,300, would that be a thing? Top 8 right now, F 540. Let's lay, say we we double it up and a little bit more because they still need to get their inter internationals as well going around. So that's gonna be somewhere in June if I'm not mistaken. So one, I would say 1,200 for people from uh, yeah North America. It depends on how everybody is performing here, but these are all like uh, <laughs> yeah very very insane players. Zul, Grandman, Leazia, Bradner, all of these do incredibly well throughout the tournaments. They are recognizable names as well. So, and then the top eight players from Latin America. Top eight from Latin America. Let's go all the way to Latin America. Let's see here. Wow, these have a huge amount of CP. Gustavo Wada killing it as always. So, let's say here, top eight as well. So, top eight, we're stranding here. Uh, Diego, 1,200. That's a lot of CP, man. That's a whole lot. Let's say 900 for this. But they haven't gotten, I think that will be way lower down. The reasoning for that is because they don't, they only had like one regionals and they already had their uh, internationals already. So let's say top eight right now, 260. I would say 580 or something could get the bar done for uh, Latin America, depending on how they do. Oceania, the last one of the bunch. The last one of the bunch. Let's see, how, many, how much CP did they get? Top four. Okay, 1,401, that's insane. It's gonna be the same uh, way they're gonna get their uh, 
lower down because they haven't gotten a lot of regionals and uh, actually the internationals is uh, actually next weekend which is very exciting for sure right now uh, top four looking like this 200 points yeah pr probably like 500 or something like that's gonna be the way to get day two invitations and uh, for travel awards you can uh, do the same thing but this the huge news is here we are gonna be closer to world than ever before they making it easier but I'm still not happy about the fact that locals uh, are not coming back because a lot of my friends uh, that I know uh, go to locals every single time to get uh, their points for the world invite so it's only gonna be at the top of the notch uh, performing at regionals uh, so far let me know what you think about this news down below in the comment section if you enjoy videos that I'm posting every single day be sure let me know uh, rock the hell out of the like button subscribe for more content and go check out our sponsors potownstore.com the best place for TCG code cards they also work for TCG live you can get uh, them at 5% discount using the coupon code Zabu's TCG. There is a uh, dragon shield for your sleeves, binders, and deck boxes. Links down below for people from the US and Europe. There's card market for your European players where you can bind sell cards to people all across Europe. Use the referral name Zabu's TCG. And then there's europlayman.com. People worldwide can, of course, create their own custom playmat. You can get 10% off right now. So definitely click that link down below. Upload your favorite wallpaper or unique design, or even your own logo, and they turn it into a beautiful, beautiful playmat. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG Madness. Peace!